Sandra Dixon implemented major water saving measures over the last few years. Her water consumption has reduced by more than two thirds. But the drought levy, announced on the 5th of December, has her hot under the collar. She first launched an action group on Facebook called Stop the City of Cape Town and a week later a website named Dear Cape Town. Visitors to the site share their opinion and opposition to the levy and its channel to the city's public participation website. So far, over 7,000 comments have been logged. Dixon accuses the city of being underhanded. She says the city has chosen to have the levy public participation process over the busy holiday season when many people are away and wouldn't give it much thought. She wants the levy to be scrapped. People complain they've put in Jojo tanks, they put in grey water systems at a big expense. Some people say that they've spent 8,000 to 20,000 rands to install these water saving devices. So the people feel that they are being punished. They saved, they use less water, they bath less, they shower less, but they are being punished. So instead of being rewarded for using less, they actually now have to, be, to pay more, but they get less. It does not make sense. Dixon says the city is panicking because of the drought and that consumers are being targeted for funding instead of the city strategizing on capital expenditure projects. Many share her views. I don't think it's fair on the people. I think a lot of people are paying heavy bills as is and to weigh more on them would be very unfair on the people that are less privileged than, than others. So I think it's very unfair and the government needs to work out something that would be better for the people. How is it possible that you can connect the amount of water that you use to your value of the property? I just think it doesn't make any sense. If they want to add a levy, they should add a levy on the amount of water that you use. Others don't. I think the, the people who can afford to live in sea points are able to pay it and so maybe it'll be a bit of a wake-up call. I think it needs to happen, of course. Um, obviously there will be some tolls to the families and to people of the country, but I think it, it needs to happen. So you support it? I do support it, yeah. The city of Cape Town says residents have until the 12th of January to comment. It says all comments will be tabled at a council meeting at the end of January before taking any decision on the matter. If approved by council, it will be sent to the finance minister for a final rubber stamp. Mariska Boota, SABC News, Cape Town.